everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am faith the mini mimi thrifter and i am a reseller on mainly ebay i haven't had anything on any other platforms in a while um and so this is what my channel is about i like to show you the items that i am sourcing that i am buying and then i sh and i sell these items to make a profit hopefully so um this video is going to be some things that i have sourced so let's get right to it Alrighty, everybody so I wanted to show you something that I got um, on a sourcing trip on the way down to Arkansas where my daughter was having her baby shower so my me and my husband hit a couple of Goodwills on the way down and I bought something that is completely out of my norm I had no clue what it was mostly and um, but I took a chance I paid almost $40 for this and I think I did well and the point of the you know the video is sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone and you take those chances just to see what happened it makes it helps you to learn so then you know if you run across those items again whether it's good or buy or a bad buy so i found or my husband found five of these plastic containers okay and each and they were each priced differently like a Two or three of them were $9, two or three were $6. I can't remember exactly. And so they were all taped up. You could not open them and see exactly what the little things were. I could tell that they were figures. And see, here's one here. A little bitty booger. Um, I could tell that just by listening to the sound of it hitting the plastic container that they, most of them were metal. So that made me feel better. Um, there are some plastic in here. I'm gonna show you a couple of them just to give you an idea. We could, like I said, we could not definitely see what the items were. So he doesn't have it, they haven't attached the arm to that one just yet. Cause you see like this one had, like some of them I can't tell some Hold on, let me put my glasses on. Some they just have to attach certain arms or legs. Um, like this one, that arm is already attached. And so then they add on this side, another arm with, I guess a various gun. They have different weapons. So, um, we got this little guy. Some look more human some do not look human at all um but like i said they were some were metal some are plastic i've got a few extra items like these are knives and guns and it's been it's been fun trying to research them uh because they see i just put it up and i should have showed you real quick they don't tell you like the name of the game or whatever it's some type of Sort of like dungeon and Dungeons and Dragons type game. I guess they're like war games. Let's see. Again with the glasses. <laughs> now on the back, I don't know if you can tell, but at the bottom on this little thing, I'm sure it's not going to show you. It says 1997. So I know that it was made in 97. And on the this side, it says... Ork, O-R-K. So that gave me a little bit of help, but like I said, I've been using Google Lens to look up these little things. Some say rat skin, some say heavy. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean heavy? And um, so these are just different names of the characters. And then each character has a different pose, a different weapon, different, I guess, armor i really don't know this is one of the biggest ones i have let me back up a little let's see if it has a name i can't see a name on this one i can see 95 on both sides so and this has been painted did you saw the others were just silver they were had not been painted yet what i have discovered is that 
They start off with that just silver shiny metal, which is mostly pewter, I believe. And then they'll, they'll paint them white. I guess that's the base coat. And then they paint them, paint them. And I think that's really cool that they take the time to intricately paint, you know, every little part. So someone really liked this game, really enjoyed this and loved these pieces. Don't know what happened as to why these would be, you know, at a goodwill. Sometimes it's kind of sad to think about. Here's some plastic pieces here. Like you see, there's a couple of weapons still on that one. And we got a couple little guys. See now, both of these guys look like the same character to me. They got the little mohawk on top. These are plastic, but you see he's got a different gun. Their guns are different. This one has a gigantic knife. The other one does not. So it just depends on the character, their weapons they're holding. Um, we got a little busty woman here and see like she's partially, I guess, no, she, I guess she's finished painting. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. I don't know if she, if this one is done with the painting or not, but, um, there's several little characters. Here's, um, another one, but I've been using, uh, like I said, Google lens trying to find out what these items are because if they, I have no clue. I, what, what am I, how am I supposed to know what these are if the item doesn't tell me what they are or what the game is? Can't just type in heavy. So, um, see this one isn't painted. It's another little female. Now, like I said, they each have names or a, some of them tend to have those names across that little base. And I have to, that means I have to pull them off of the base that they are attached to. Like this one's a smaller one. So, I mean, they're pretty cool. I really like them. I think they're neat. It reminds me of like, um, all the characters remind me of things like, uh, World of Warcraft. Um, what was that other one? It's a vintage board game. It was, uh, we used to have it. Hero, Hero Quest, I think. I believe it was called Hero Quest. We had it years ago. I think my son has it now. So, like I said, I'm using Google Lens and sometimes it helps, sometimes it don't find crap. So it's a lot of plastic pieces in here. And each little piece will have multiple little figures on them. I assume they attached them. I don't know if they came on the little stand. I have no clue. These are really tiny. See how tiny they are? These are painted. And these are the same ones, just unpainted. So, and it's various ones in here. Here's some that have the, uh oh, one some fell off, that have the white base paint on them. And uh, let's see if it, if y'all can see this in the video. Now, can you see some of this yellow spots here? That's actually clay where the previous owner, let me find a loose one. Previous owner has taken them and they would attach them, the little guy, right to the clay. And I'm not exactly sure if that was to just help him grab them out quicker. Um, just so he knows how many he has. I really don't know. I like this little guy. Now this is plastic. Reminds me a lot of the Hero Quest game. And some of these have little cardboard pieces. Like this says wound. I guess all of these say wound. Yeah, I got I got a little handful of these little things that say wound. And another one I've got one that says spore. And then there's there's different numbers on the Dear Lord, on the spore, I guess you'd call it. 
And let's see if I can find, so yeah, here's some in here. Like on this one, it's not painted yet, but you see that they have a little sticker here and a number on it. I don't know what that represents either. So, um, Google let me, um, one of the things led me to looking up something called Warhammer. Then there was Necromunda. I think it's like one in the same, but then there's various sizes of them what I, from what I've discovered because of a message uh, from a potential buyer and they ended up being too small so he didn't want them. But something about, I guess, Epic 40K are smaller ones, like maybe the little plastic ones. And then the Warhammer are bigger. Even my metal ones aren't real big. All of my metal ones tend to be under two inches tall. So, you know, it's really confusing, but I'm slowly getting there. <laughs> I mean, and once you figure out, cause I'll sit down with a, a, a container and just try and figure out what these items are, <coughs> what these figures names are. And it's really hard because of the different weapons. You can, might find the, um, the right character, but it has a certain weapon and maybe other certain weapons are more desirable than others, I guess, because they give more points in the game. I really have no clue. More of a dungeon and dragons type thing, I guess. I don't know. But once you sit down and you figure out, you, know, you can get kind of an idea of what, who the character is. Um, then they're really simple to list because I go on there and I'll type in Necromunda or if I, you know, like one of them says Orc or Rat Skin. I can type in Rat Skin Necromunda and it usually will take me to there and it at least give me more information. Like I'm assuming the name of the game is possibly Warhammer. Maybe it's Warhammer Necromunda. <laughs> I really am not sure. But um, I'm gonna definitely make my money back on these, and I'm a cheap, I'm a cheap person as far as I don't like to spend a lot of money. And so forty dollars to me <laughs> was a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, I do it uh, constantly, but I'm just thinking, why well, don't I'm just spitting? Why do I want to spend six dollars or nine dollars on this? And it might be worth crap. But you know, like I said, that's the the main reason I made this video is you got to go out there and take those chances and step out of your comfort zone just so you can learn what's a good buy and what's a bad buy because I couldn't sit down in Goodwill and try and find what these were you just even if they allowed me to cut them open and pull them out you just you, it's just not feasible you don't want to sit there forever we didn't have that kind of time we had to be somewhere uh, to meet my daughter so we didn't have that kind of time. We were just trying to run into some, run into the couple places, hit them, you know, kind of quickly and get out. So we didn't have time to possibly sit there and research them. So, you know, I'm just sitting there. And like I said, they had plastic over the sides and around this way. And so it, it even distorted what they look like even further because this is really scratched up and you couldn't really see anything real well. The lighting in Goodwill isn't great. So, so yes, take those chances, get out of that comfort zone, go out on that limb and uh, just, you know, find something. This is how you learn as a reseller. And of course, watch those YouTube channels. Watch me. <laughs> I don't have as much knowledge as a lot of them out there, but I'm definitely learning. I can definitely tell that just watching other YouTubers, resale YouTubers, um, is really helping my knowledge. And when I go out and I see some, hey, 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 you know, Josh over at SOB. <laughs> I said that so wrong. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Josh over at ISO Nugget. Oh my goodness. Oh god, that just tickled me. That was so wrong. I said those. Oh my god. Oh Lord Josh, you know I didn't mean that. That was hilarious though. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> If I'm out in the wild and I'm hunting and searching for items, I'll think, oh, wow, you know, I seen Josh over an ISO nugget. <laughs> he sold that item for, and, I, and most of the time, I do not remember what the item sold for, and I don't remember what they sourced her for, but I will remember the item itself. Ooh, that sold, or ooh, they sourced that. So, um, I'm crying over here. <laughs> So I will go and grab that item and I pop it in my cart. Why? Because I'm going to go around the store or the thrift store or the wherever. I'm going to pop them in my cart and step aside and research the item and see if they are selling for so and so much money. If, if there's enough <coughs> taking into the account how much the item costs and how much they're selling for, I may or may not get them because Goodwill is crazy on the prices sometimes. So... <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Watch YouTube resellers. I promise you, you will get a wealth of knowledge. You're not going to remember everything, but those little tidbits will pop in your head when you're out walking and sourcing around. So, <laughs> everyone, y'all go out and have a great day. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, we'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.